So, so far we've examined um, statistical tests for uh, the overrepresentation of categories in a gene set. This kind of leads us on to uh, looking at um, measures of the relationships between uh, sets of genes. So, for example, genes that are um, found in a meta-analysis to be associated with diabetes and genes that are members of a keg pathway, for example. Now, something you might see very often in the literature is the use of the Jacquard index. So this is essentially a, a measure of the similarity between two sets. It's, it's a measure of how large is the overlap between the sets with respect to the combination of those two sets. Here we can see uh, on the right an illustration of, of, um, of this. So let's say we have two sets, A and B. And A is a big yellow circle and B is a smaller set. And this is a, the red circle. And this is, you can read this a bit like a Venn diagram, or exactly like a Venn diagram, um, such that everything that is yellow belongs only to set A. All those genes that are a part of this uh, this region belong only to set B and this intersection of the two circles are genes that belong to both sets. So in these terms the Jacquard index is given by the intersection the size of the intersection which is the number of genes that are present in both sets divided by the union which is the total number of genes that we have, the total number of unique genes that we have in the two sets. Now the Jacquard index is a number uh, that varies between 0 and 1. Uh, the value is 1 when the sets are identical and the value is 0 when there is no overlap between the two sets. The, uh, the analysis of the enrichment of gene sets is uh, something that perhaps has, has developed from uh, overrepresentation analysis and is a little bit um, a more of a sophisticated approach. It, it has a similar aim in that it attempts to find um, uh, relevant gene sets, um, but it does it in a, uh, in a, a perhaps a more sophisticated way such that there we, don't, we don't draw hard thresholds here and um, so we don't, for example, um, just take the top uh, most differentially expressed genes and use those to determine the gene sets. We actually use the whole uh, gene expression profile in a weighted fashion. So here I can give a, a brief overview of the aims and the um, uh, advantages of this approach. So a, a micro a, a profile measures the uh, expression levels of uh, a large number of genes, so the, something on the scale of the whole genome. And a, a typical biological question is to try to understand the difference in expression between two sets of samples. So they, these might be um, uh, diseased and non-diseased, or um, control samples and samples that have undergone some kind of um, uh, perturbation. Traditionally, or uh, in, the, uh, in the first uh, instance, we might look for individual genes which are differentially expressed between the two classes. And and, and then use that as the basis of, of further analysis, perhaps over-representation analysis. There are two problems, potential problems, with this. The first is that biological data generally, and gene expression data, can be noisy. There are lots of sources of variation, and no single gene uh, may, it may be the case that there are no genes stand out above the noise as being significantly differentially expressed. Alternatively, many, many genes might, might be identified as differentially expressed, but it's difficult then to uh, interpret the, a list of genes uh, to um, infer 
a, a unified biological theme uh, for these these genes. So the, there is a problem of biological interpretation. The analysis of the, the enrichments of, of gene sets, methods such as GSEA, instead of looking for individual genes that are differentially expressed, look for whole collections of genes that are collectively differentially expressed. And this has two uh, main advantages. The first is that there is um, more statistical power here. So a set of genes is more likely to stand out above the noise than uh, individual genes. We expect a larger signal-to-noise ratio, in, in other words. Secondly, if the gene sets are chosen carefully, such that they um, uh, they all belong to a, um, a particular biological um, theme, then the biological interpretation is built into the analysis. Or it's almost automatic.